the coronavirus really has uh, kind of turned this world, and especially the United States, upside down on its head, hasn't it? We find ourselves uh, necessarily uh, socially distancing ourselves from each other in order to keep the ones whom we love safe. And we see the mistakes made by, by some of the other nations that didn't have these social distancing um, practices in place quick enough, and they are suffering because of it. During this time, though, social distancing, it's a concept that runs completely contrary to everything that church is supposed to be about, and especially Trinity Church is about. At Trinity, we are about loving each other. We are about being family. Therefore, we're about meeting together. We're about spending time with each other outside of the church walls. We're about helping one another. And that becomes a hard thing to do whenever you're trying to stay socially distant from the people that you care about the most. One of the ways that we are lacking right now as a church is, is in corporate prayer. I know that we're praying at home uh, by ourselves right now about all the things that are going on, but we're not praying together. So as we try to figure out this whole social distancing thing and, and how to get past it, corporate prayer is one of the things that we're going to try. Today, if you're watching this video, then it means that, that you know that prayer is important and you want to be a part of it. So we're just going to take a couple of minutes. Um, and what's going to happen is I actually would like to sing a song first. Um, and you can either pray the song or sing the song. And then after that's done, I just want to spend some time in prayer. But let us today find a way to close this gap. And although we are socially apart, let us in spirit be together.
Bible says where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am with them. And it doesn't matter whether it's in a church, whether it's even in the same building. We are gathered together in Christ's name right now in our different houses through our electronics. But the Holy Spirit is there nonetheless. So let us take some time just to, to lift up our prayers to the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to black out this, this screen as, as we pray. But if you would just... Uh, Close your eyes and and let us lift our requests up to our loving Father in heaven. Dear God, we come before you today. God, and you know how life has been turned on its head. You know how we are battling to stay healthy, both physically, emotionally, as well as spiritually, God. And we just ask that you would truly be here with us during this moment, this historical moment, this unprecedented moment, God. Help us as Christians to find a way to continue to love those around us, even though lots of times we, we can't come in contact with them, God. It's, it's just a foreign concept. God, life does continue to uh, go on outside of this virus, and we lift up those to you who, who are struggling with health issues, those who have lost loved ones, God. We pray for the family of Irene Olkus, Griff's aunt. We just ask that you would help them, help them to, uh, to be comforted during this time of loss. And we ask the same thing for the, the Slater family, God. We just ask that you would help them to, to be able to mourn, to be able to find comfort in the voice of a fellow Christian if they can't find that comfort in the actual physical touch, God. God, we do especially lift up the Be About family, God. Oh, it's just one of those situations, God. A young woman, two small kids, broken hearts, God. God, we ask that you would just help them. We ask that you would somehow find a way to, to provide comfort and peace to their situation. And we ask that you would allow us to reach out in love. To wrap this family up in our arms, God. So that they may be comforted during this very difficult time. God, we pray for those who, who are battling physical sickness, God. We lift up uh, Linda Griffiths. And her lung biopsy, we just ask that you would uh, allow that to go well, God. God, we pray for Joanne Bly. Um, has, she just had a hip replaced, but now has, has fallen and fractured the other hip, God. We just ask that, that you would help her to get the, the help that she needs to get back on her feet. God, we continue to pray for Stacy Martin, and we do lift up a praise this week. We praise you for the, the good test results that came back, and we ask that those would continue on, God. God, we pray for others who are in need of your love and help. We pray for Doris Barefield. We lift up Michelle Stitt and Tracy Rankin. God, we pray for Bill Mills, for Missy Sapolsky, for my brother Frank. And we just ask you to be there. You are the great physician. We ask that you would bring healing and comfort. We ask that same thing for for those who are, are watching and praying along in their homes, on their phones, on their computers, God, that you know their needs, emotional, physical, spiritual, so we ask that you would meet them. God, we do spend a portion of time just, just dedicated to, to lifting this coronavirus up to you, God. God, during this time, we do ask that you would, you would keep our, our wise, gray-haired members safe. We ask that you would protect them and allow those who are able to, to help them, not just spiritually, but physically, God. God, we pray for those with uh, compromised immune systems. We lift up Layla. We lift up uh, Stacy, God. And we just ask that, that you would protect them, keep them safe from, from this virus. 
And we pray that same thing for our young, God, as their immune systems are still developing. So we specifically lift up Dylan, God, Seth and Tisa's little girl. We just ask that you would keep her safe. God, we pray for all of the students who have had their lives turned upside down. We thank you that Abby Drum made it home safely. And we pray for all of our college students and graduate school students, as well as our high schoolers, junior high, elementary, the whole way down to our preschool kids. And we lift them up as, as well as the teachers and the workers. God, just so many people who are affected by this. Help them during this time to make wise decisions. Allow, allow us to, to be willing to follow those decisions, God. And as we are reaching those decisions, God, allow us to, to stop and listen for your voice. God, we pray for all of those who can't work right now because of the virus. And we ask that you would truly help them financially. Allow them to be able to, 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 to make it through and allow us as a church to be able to come together and love and support those within and without of our congregation, God. Allow us to not just support them in spirit, but allow us to do it physically, God. God, we pray for our government as they're trying to make unprecedented decisions, God. They feel the weight of those decisions pr pressing down on them. They feel the importance of making the right decisions and, and, and keeping people alive. Um, God, they, they, they just feel this constant pressure. So we ask that, that you would take some of that off them. Guide them and lead them in their decisions. And then allow us to follow what your will is. God, we pray specifically for the medical staff, the doctors, and, and the nurses, and, and all who are involved in, in caring for so many people all over the globe right now, God. God, we lift them up unto you and ask them that you would give them uh, strength, that you would give them endurance and that you would protect them during this time that they are serving others, God. Father, thank you for our ability to meet through this medium. God, and as we go our separate ways once again, allow us to feel connected to each other because of the connection that we have through you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Joining me.